short video. As you can see, I have various TXVs. Let me yes. This is an Emerson Z Charge one tuner. This one's a little had in the box for a while, so it got a little rusty. But see the power head. You could thread it off and put another Emerson power head on it. This is a Sporlin BQE solder valve. Inside goes the orifice, and on the top goes the power head, like this one. I had an FJ half C, that's a 134A valve, but I needed it for a freezer, so I had to put a Z power head, so that's the box. You just unscrew it, and you just put the power head on, and I have a Z charge, so it's a half ton Z. I'll use this tomorrow for the pop freezer. Work on. And this is a C, a C charge, a C charge power head. That's good for 12, 134A, 401A. Or MP39. Which I could use with this valve. And just change the, put the orifice. Uh, put the orifice just depending on tonnage. If I had another Emerson valve like this one. And I had I needed a C charge, so all I had to do was just swap the power head, so they're basically swap swappable. Play nuts for it. So this is the one I'm gonna use tomorrow. See, I just put this one so I won't lose it. But this is the Z valve. It's the FJ half half center. This box used to be a C charge. We changed the power heads. So actually, Sporlins, you could change the power heads. The power elements and here's a little scuff because of the wrench but you can actually the power elements are interchangeable like this one I can make it any capacity I want with the orifice and if I make it C I have a C power head now so if I need an R134 MP39 or R12 I can use this as a C for a C charge just have a C charge so I could use it as a C and the same thing as this Emerson Z Z valve it's one tonner. It's these on little 9,000 BTU walking cooler sometimes. Uh, this power head's a little... It's been in the box for a while. I haven't used it. But if I find a power head from another one, I can swap it out. And probably all the mechanisms are good. This one is basic. As you can see inside, it's just a cartridge. This just has a spring in it. And this one, I could take the guts out. It had two rods in them. So you could take the guts out and change them. And then change the guts if you had to. Or sometimes you just, sometimes the guts just go dirt, get dirty, so you just take the whole thing apart, clean the guts out, take the power head, clean the rods, and that's basically what you can do with it. So that's a short video I have. So uh, there are spoiling bulletins. You can check them out online. I don't know the number by memory, but they have one for expansion valves and and for these BQ. B, this is BQE type valve they have uh, the sheet that tells you where the orifice is the capacities and the power heads and the capacities so that's just txv 101 just to show you that these sporlins they're all interchangeable the power heads are interchangeable and you can build this one to any capacity using depending on refrigerant and cartridge and this is a c charge that i have i can use a c charge if i have, have to use 134a 12 or mp39 that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and you can leave any questions if you want in the comments.